Hello and welcome back to our continuing exercises in the Let's Defend platform. Today we are going to tackle a SOC 109 Emotet Malware Detected exercise with an event ID of 85. This event took place March 22nd, 2021, 9.06 p.m. And so, let's see, something was cleaned. One word dot doc on Richard Prod. Okay, so we'll take the hash, we'll dump it into virus total. And let's see, so 40 out of 62 with multiple indications. Let's spell out Emotet. 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 W97M dot downloader. I think that's the generic detection semantic tends to flag. Uh, let's see, there exists multiple uh, public submissions on any dot run. And so this one, I believe, was dated March 9th. Yep. Typical MO, open it up try to get you to sit there and enable editing if it blocks it. WinWord calls PowerShell to pull down the executable files themselves. And if we look, we've got multiple samples in hybrid analysis. This one was dated, what? March 23rd. So, the day after this event occurred. We're jumping in the future! Ah, good, okay. It basically breaks it down. So, I'll try to pull stuff out. Ooh. Yeah, there's web addresses hidden in there. Lots of come. Lots of come. Okay, uh, Richard. So, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to bring this up. Log management. We'll bring up the endpoint security. So, log management. What can you show me? January 31st. Pulling down of network. Oh, that doesn't mean much. Oh, okay. Richard Prod. Hmm. Richard Prod. Yeah, IP address matches. January 31st, so did we see any sort of thing kick off process-wise that we can... Oh, this is the system that had the juicy potatoes. Sweet, sweet potatoes. Network list. Looks like this is all January. Of course, realistically, it wouldn't really occur because the system's been requested in isolation. But let's not have that get in the way of fantasy now. Okay, so we have traffic nowhere. Prod machines in there, so we don't have any sort of communication going out. So if we look at something closer, say the 29th, Network attacks were detected. Because it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, show me a connection then. Fort Collins Athletic 
factory. Oh, we'll grab that. Uh, we'll close that one down. We'll go back to log management. Nothing. Nothing there either. Okay. So it looks like we're pretty much all set to go. So let's go ahead and take ownership. So it was clean when it was detected. So that would explain as to why we did not see any sort of follow-up in the process list, the network list, or anything in the log management. If all the bad stuff was stripped out, it's not really going to be able to do anything bad. All right, playbook. Malfunction becoming disabled. There wasn't any traffic. There's nothing wrong with the AV. Nothing configured automatically. So we're going other. Oh, look at that. I like that. I've taken like two weeks off for doing any exercises. It's the last day of March right now for me. 2021. And they've updated it. Quarantined or cleaned. That is beautiful. Yeah, we did verify that it was cleaned. We analyzed it, and it was indeed malicious. Then we have to have all the fun pieces. So we're going to go back to virus total, and we are going to fill out the MD5 maldoc. And then if we can find... Okay, let's take this one. Load up in virus total for me. And this is going to be the payload itself. Now, that's AV file, AVI file. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so... <clears throat> Roll this back then. We have the payload MD5. Yay. Um, what else can we stiffen from here? All the good things, all the bad things. Connection request for Collins. This is probably a little bit overkill, but uh, so let's see. IP address. Payload download. The other item that we did actually see through on port 80. Looks like the AVI file tried to reach out to it. MD5. Uh, what else do we have? We have a URL, don't we? Yes. Uh, so we'll have to grab that one too. Okay, that's fine. So one, two. The URL. And last piece. That's for the AVI file. So that's the actual payload itself. Yeah, because it pulled down for the Fort Collins factory. The 1.07 meg executable. And that was the comms going back and forth. All right. So go here, here, 
vvi file dot e oops guess it would help if I could spell properly okay so we ripped that apart and we already now well, I took a look at one I didn't take a look at the other so to be fair before we pull the trigger on this log management All right, that looks good. We've at least crossed the, what dot the T no dot the I cross the T. Is someone access the malicious address? No, which of course wouldn't really actually happen because the fact the mal doc was cleaned before it was opened. So we'll go no, we'll answer the playbook. It retained all of our answers, and we will submit to close the case. This was a true positive. Clean before execution. No. the alert. This all uh, finishes. Bing, bang, a boom. Full points by the looks of it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to come back and do some of these things. My 9 to 5 has been a lot of policies and procedures lately, so to actually break into something and investigate. Okay, so there we go. ZOC 109, MO de malware detected, event ID 85, for March 22nd, 2021, at 9.06 p.m. It's in the books, folks. I will see everybody in the next video.